Hi, this is Accordion Cafe and it refers to the sailboat Amazing Grace 2012. There it is, you can see the damage to the hull um, which was made a lot worse when we tried to pull the boat or pull the trailer from under the boat when the bogey wheels collapsed through the already damaged hull and uh, caused a lot more damage. Um, still never mind. There is a little general uh, video around the boat you can see the condition it's in um, the previous owner had uh, lost interest in it um, as we all do at times I suppose and he very kindly gave me the boat um, and there it is um, as you can see there's a lot of work to be done on it the interior needs a lot of work I've already started up in the, uh, the, the forward section um, it's, uh, it wasn't as bad as it looked actually um, it's mainly just a mess. It's not damaged so much as just um, a bit of a mess. Um, the interior uh, lining, um, like a leatherette lining, um, I pulled all that out because it was hanging off, and um, the uh, started brushing the uh, residue from the backing uh, when you obviously when you glue this stuff on the walls and then pull it off again years later it, it leaves behind this uh, dust um, which is as you can see it comes off very easily with a, uh, with a medium soft um, wire brush and then you can put your new stuff on there um, bit of a mess but uh, it's worth it um, what I was going to line that with, I wasn't quite sure. I thought about some, some maybe thin bathroom type carpet would have been nice. Um, as it was, there was so much to do on the boat that uh, I didn't really know where to start with and where to carry on with because we were already in September, and I knew that within like six weeks there was going to be uh, bad weather coming. That's a repair which I also had running at the time, uh, working from the inside out to repair the damage which was showed just then. Um, it was uh, a fiberglass dock, and there's a video in just a moment to show to show the actual work in progress on that, that repair. Sort of goes before these uh, pictures were taken to working on the actual damaged hull. I had to cut that hole myself to get access to the damage which the bogey wheels uh, ripped through. Um, unfortunately the, the driver of the um, Land Rover pulling the trailer from underneath it, he couldn't hear it, he got a diesel engine you know. And um, when, when the uh, boat collapsed over the set of bogey wheels <coughs> he couldn't hear us calling out to stop pulling and so it just ripped through it. Uh, in the end, the uh, the boat won actually and tore the bogey wheels off the trailer. Um, but uh, anyway, never mind. It's all good fun, good experience, and you, you can you can see the boat there. It's uh, it w would be a nice looking boat actually. Um, but there is there was an awful lot of work to do in it. I'm talking about this in the past tense now because um, I uh, sold it on. Um, to, to, to someone else because uh, when the bad weather came the harbour fees were harbour office fees were quite um, expensive we're talking £60 a month to leave it on this bit of waste ground but there's the damage what the bogey wheels did the damage which was already done is underneath there the damage what you can actually see was what the bogey wheels done um, there's a few there was a few chips around it and this that had to be done and various parts had been ripped off and maybe nicked I don't know <clears throat> um, but uh, it was quite a project and if it hadn't have been for the fact that uh, well the straw that broke the donkey's back was I must have picked the only spot in the boat yard there which turned into a lake at the slightest spot of rain and uh, as I was going to it morning after morning, this lake underneath the boat was getting inches and inches deeper and it just couldn't work on the boat anymore. And the harbour fees were mounting up and £60 a month soon mounts up when you go through the winter season. Um, now there we are, 
that's me um, grinding back all around where it had been damaged and cracked um, ready to uh, put the new um, fiberglass in um, on reflection I don't think there's there's not really any need to go that far back with it it's only like 12 times the thickness of the fiberglass is how far you have to grind back but it was cracked there was a lot of cracks in that uh, where it had ripped and um, uh, I felt better to, to make sure I got all the cracks on it you know um, very dangerous stuff that uh, father glasses when it's being ground off like that and um, you you should wear a mask I should have been wearing a mask but uh, I was holding my breath actually so as not to breathe it in um, anyway there we are you can you can see uh, the uh, hole <laughs> through to the forward uh, accommodation on the boat and they, the, the bogey wheels did quite a bit of damage um, so it has to be repaired from the inside out um, with uh, the chopped matting and strand and the um, uh, uh, what do they call it, the cross mat very thick fiberglassing on the inside and finish it off with gel coat and um, now we'll jump ahead uh, to the um, to the other side yeah oh there we are that's that's back on the the port side front that's where i cut it right back to get all traces of it eliminated and that's where i've put a piece of hardboard um on it not hardboard plywood thin plywood and pressed it on to match the shape of the hull on the outside so that uh, i could work on it from the inside and this is where it's come off now i'm taking it off i shouldn't say it doesn't just come off um, that was uh, the gel coat went on first of all grey coloured gel coat from the inside they put the gel coat on and then it followed by um, about three coats of chopped mat followed by um, which was going to be put on was the woven mat um, I never did get as far as putting the woven mat on the inside but I told the person who got the boat off me um, I think I'm trying to play a tune on it there. <laughs> I told the um, uh, that he had to finish it off and uh, showed him the um, repairs which were not completed and left it up to him to finish that off. Anyway, there we are. There's the, um, the, the galleyway doors there. The slats which drop in. Um, I must have took that one with him on the move there. Um, I'll, re I'm, I'll replace these. Um, like any good uh, boaty, uh, we go around the skips and I found some uh, lovely pieces of flooring from a rib, not a rib, an inflatable and um, oh, I've already showed this video once, oh never mind, I'll just click off that I hope the soundtrack's not going to be affected too bad by it, it's just a moment, let's remove that, there we are. So there we are. Anyway, um, the <coughs> um, the replaced doors, as I say, were made um, from some flooring from uh, an inflatable. Of course, they're um, uh, marine ply, so they won't separate. And there we are. The the maker was a Glenrothes of Scotland. Uh, just a few snaps now around the boat. Um, the, the almost finished repair on the outside um, which came out rather well um, with a bit of uh, further rubbing down and painting on of the gel coat um, it finished up as a nice smooth surface and it was uh, it was pretty good even though I say so myself anyway there we are good luck to the new owner don't forget to put that extra bit on the inside bye for now come back to Accordion Cafe Bye.